All right, what's up, you two? Uh, my name is Ryan Morales. Uh, I'm a high school barber. I'm 17. Um, I just started barbering, I'd say, about like six months ago. Uh, this past December, I put it into my head um, that I wanted to be a barber. I started looking at YouTube videos, watching them like crazy. I've actually been watching YouTube videos since, I, I say years, about like cutting hair and stuff. Just what kind of hair could I want to get? And then it made me just want to start cutting hair, became a barber. Uh, this past Christmas, I got these things on my I have right here in front of, in front of me that I'm be showing you guys. I got them mostly for Christmas. Uh, some of these things I put my own money into, but I'm blessed to have family members that support me. Um, anyways, today uh, I'm be showing you my setup I have right here in my garage. I, as you can see, I got crap everywhere, but got to work with you with what you have. Um, so yeah, pretty much today I'm be showing you my setup, and I'm a, I'm actually gonna be cutting someone's hair in about. Uh, 15 minutes so I'll show you that haircut maybe some clips of that all right I'll see you guys later all right so right now I'm gonna be showing you where I work sorry about the light my garage is a little bit open it gets hot in here oh yeah so I work in my garage I'm pretty sure I said that but bikes everywhere garage I just got my chair right here my little workstation all right so yeah I'm pretty much gonna be starting off showing you you know the chair uh, small things I use my case where I put everything after uh the the broom i use and then we'll get into the more in-depth detailed tools that i use all right so i use this chair right here it's my dad's work chair i work in his area this is all his he lets me work here uh yeah this is a chair it's all right i could say i mean it does the job not complaining and it's it does spin with a little bit of weight on it right now i put my foot on there and it spins but yeah, that's that. It's a little, I mean, it's uncomfortable. I do get some complaints sometimes, but haircuts turn come, come out good, so mix up for it. Uh, I got this broom that we have just laying around the house. In between haircuts, if too much hair gets on the floor, I use that. Uh, I got the dustpan. It's been laying around the house. Um, I got this case I actually just bought at Harbor Freight. I was looking for so long for a barber case. Looking on Ofra, 5 Mile, Craigslist. People listing them for like 50 bucks for like almost the same exact thing. Just don't waste your money. Go to Harbor Freight. Uh, they they most of the times they'll have a coupon out for twenty percent off anything. So if I were you, I go do that right now. If you're watching this video, um, it's a good investment. You can move these around however you want. You can move these this way if you want it that way. You can move one this way, one that way. It's all up to you. Um, it has these holes right here. You can put anything. Combs. I put I put my those in there. My blade in there. I put all my clips in there. My scissors in there. Um, I got a screwdriver in there for my clippers sounding weird something. I need to clean them deep clean um, This pops out. I Put my mirror back there It works out good. It's a great investment guys. I gotta tell you All right, that's it for the little things now. We're gonna move on to the bigger things what I use every day cutting hair All right, and now what you guys probably been waiting for probably skip to I respect that um, At least you're watching the video. All right. Anyways, um this is the stuff, the tools I use pretty much every day for cutting hair. You can see me. Um, I got most of this, most of these things probably like this, this, this. I bought my own money actually. Um, these are here. This is laying around the house. Most of these things I got for Christmas. I'm like great. I'm very grateful for that. My family backs me up on that. Um, yeah. So let's get into it. These are the Andis double guards, the purple guards. I mean, I use Osters. They work great with Osters. I use them every day, obviously. Um, I do actually use these bigger guards that the Oster Fast Feeds came with. They, the bigger guards, they work fine. The smaller guards, like the like the the blending, the zero that the it comes with, the one, the two, those are flimsy. They'll fall off. I've actually put one bald spot into my friend, uh, who I actually will be cutting soon. He still comes back, luckily. Um, so yeah, if you don't, I recommend put money into these, at least these ones and the two that they actually just came out with the, I think it's the half and the one and a half actually, I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, use, put money into these and you can use these big, bigger ones for the clients that want longer hair on top. But besides that, do use these, spend your money. Um, moving into these, this is a brush I had in the house. I clean this. I clean actually my brushes and combs every day. I don't have barber side yet. I don't have the money for that. Um, yeah, these two brushes, my sisters clean those out. I use bought a couple of these combs at the store. 
my local store. Uh, I got these clips actually at Sally's. I, I was using these little smaller clips. They weren't this heavy duty. Fall out all the time. I put my money into these. These feel like they're gonna last me a long time. I don't drop them, nothing. They work fine. Got this for Christmas, Sanek. This is the, the neck strips. Works great. I mean, you don't have to get this. You don't have to use the Sanek neck strips. Toilet paper works fine. If you want to take your game up a bit, might as well get those. Um, I got this water bottle from inside my house. You can just if you're if you're starting off being a barber, look around your house first. Don't go and just buying things. Look around your house. I guarantee you will find something. Water bottle, cool care. Got that for Christmas. You need this. Disinfecting your clippers. Come and talk. Uh, it smells this. Uh, it's honestly I hear YouTubers all the time talk about this. It does smell amazing. It smells great. All these, all the products in these smell all like old school. I call it old school. <laughs> smell great though. Uh, got the Oster Blade Lube. Put the I put it on after and before uh, every cut. Okay, now onto my clippers. I got the Oster Fast Feeds. Uh, I didn't really zero gap them. There's definitely a space there. I mean, I don't see if you don't zero gap in your any your clippers. I don't see the difference if you. Bring it down with this, balled it out with this. I mean, it works fine. You don't really have to, I mean, and it takes away the risk of irritating your clients, making them red, cutting them. I mean, it just makes it easier on you. Um, yeah, I got the Oster Fast Feeds. These work great. I mean, they're not the best, honestly, for bulking hair, cutting out bulk and stuff, but they do fading amazing. Uh, take good and taking your time. If you want to take your time on a cut, these are the way to go. Cut way slower than, let's say, seniors. Things like that, detachable clippers, these are the way to go for fading. Um, but I recommend if you want to just take out bulk, best definitely buy a different clipper. Um, but it is good for a starting out clipper, not going to lie to you. It is a great start out clipper. Uh, I just got, I like, I'd say like last week, these Andis shavers. These bring your haircuts to another level. If you're a barber starting out, definitely buy these. Or if you are good with a razor, use a razor. I'm, I can use both thankful enough but definitely want to spend your money on some of these these make your haircuts go to the next level and if you don't believe me trust me you will be you will thank me you'll thank me you'll thank me all right these and slimline pro allies i hate saying that name they're too it's too long too complicated these Andis, these work good you i mean you you might have to okay let me talk to you about this these are pretty much meant you might i Okay, lineups, not the best thing. Putting in that ball line, maybe taking off the hair, yes. You might want to buy different different liners for lining people up and giving them those nice sharp edge ups. But these are great. If you're starting out barber like me, you want to use them for everything, they're, they're they work fine. Um I got these let's see. Ruvanti shears. I got these for for Christmas for my sister. I, I told her I want shears. I was grateful for any kind of shears. Walmart shears. I just need some. And she actually has a friend that's a barber. And she asked him what are some good shears. And he recommended these. So thank you. Shout out to him. Shout out to my sister. These are great shears. I actually They're actually very sharp. Very sharp. So got to might want to actually get those sharp soon. Sharpened soon. Uh, yeah. I talked about this. Talked. Okay. This is my, actually my dad's. I'm lucky enough that. My dad has the same initials as me, RM. P clients come and sit in the chair and like, oh, that's so cool. You got a, you got a blade. Has your initials on it? I'm, I just go with it. Yeah, it's mine. Thank you. Put an order on it a while ago. Cost a lot of money. I didn't even pay for it. Just sitting in the bathroom. I grabbed it. Anyways, so yeah, this is pretty much it. I got some things in here for the scissors, the grips. I mean, I got put one in. No big deal. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I got my neck duster. This is actually a really good neck duster. I use it all the time. I do clean it. I cut someone else's hair earlier. I do clean this with the air compressor. Most of these I do a quick clean with the air compressor. These things I wash and I do that. Clippers I use and just cool care. Clean those. Clean your clean everything after. I wouldn't say every haircut, but if you have barber side every haircut. If not, take your time. If you're in your barber shop, they're not going to be too stress out about how clean everything is but do clean when you have the chance do clean when you have the chance and yeah that's pretty much it for my barber station 
I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I'm going to go cut someone's hair. I'll be back. All right, so this is my friend David. I'm going to give a cut to right now. This is the guy I told you guys about. I gave him the bald spot. Luckily, since like, he was the first guy who let me cut his hair, like I had my dad's freaking, what was it, like wall, like at home kit, whatever, and I that's why I put it. All right. That's why I put the bald spot in his head with, with freaking whack guards. All right, anyways, when you get started with the cut, he's just going to get a taper undercut with a taper two on the side so we're gonna get started with that I'm gonna move my back to the video. I'm gonna move my back to the video. So people can watch these. I'm gonna keep moving now, people. Yeah. Like TV Talk? Yeah, I don't know if that's easy for me. I'm gonna get the top part. If you move right here, it's gonna be good. I'm gonna get my master thing to run. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Is this soft part? Yeah, I love soft part. It's okay. Here's our video demo. It's a huge soft part. Oh, yeah, yeah. A whole, like, chicken. Whole video demo. It's a freaking hilarious. My family does good, but like, this one's relevant to the now that I have those shavers, I only have to be perfect with this, so I'm going to go back in there anyways, you know? Mm -hmm. So you have anything you kind of want? Okay, so. The only thing I need is shavers. I mean, that too, but, you know, like, that too. But, like, the only thing I actually need is, uh, fitting scissors. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know? Like, you have a little teeth in them? Yeah, those. Those actually help a lot. All right, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, that's my, so that's my first YouTube video. Um, in the future, I plan on posting more, probably updates about my counter, my barber station, uh, maybe some more videos about haircuts, like maybe tutorials. I don't know. I'll have to see in the future. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Sorry about the, about those pictures at the end. Those were last minute. I had the, my friend take them at his house. He just took them real quick. So yeah, I ended up cutting like two more people after him. I'm pretty tired. Doing homework right now, eating Doritos, chilling on my bed. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, like it, comment if you want. Uh, follow my Instagram at uh, Jay's Cuts. I have it posted at the beginning of the video. Hit that up. 
and I'll see you guys next time.